Hi, my name is Daniela. I'm here with a 2.0 conference. I'm here with Danica. I'm going to ask you some questions today. Uh, please introduce yourself and the organization you are representing today. My name is Danica Johnston. I'm the Director of Academics at Shawshin Valley Technical High School in Billerica, Massachusetts. Okay, you're an uh, Education uh, 2.0 conference honor. So how do you feel to receive recognition for your accomplishments? How do you feel about it? <laughs> I'm very excited. There's also several individuals who are here also receiving awards, and I'm excited to be part of such a wonderful honoree group. That's great. So what advice would you give to someone wanting to follow your step and want to be where you are now? I think I would say that you need to be in education for the right reasons. Um, you know, it's all about the kids and there's no obligation to be in education. So make sure that you're here because you want to be. Also, yeah, also um, it takes a lot of hard work, but in the end, if you're truthfully here for what you want to be here for, it is so worthwhile. So it's like a passion. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You've got to have a passion for it. And if you do, as long as you're student centered, you can really make a difference in the lives of kids. Okay. So how was your learning uh, and networking experience been so far in this conference right now? It's been really positive. I think mm -hmm. that's one of my favorite things so far about the conference is the fact that you get to meet with a bunch of different individuals from different sectors. Um, I just spoke with a woman from the marketing conference um, and we connected. So it's a great opportunity to network. Okay, so where can others reach you and do um, collaboration and advice on you? Do you have a website or anything that you can tell people to follow you? Or? Sure, so you can find me on LinkedIn at Danica Johnston or you can email me. It's just my first and last name, the number four at gmail.com. Okay, can you also explain your rituality for initiation, co-teaching, and creating professional learning communities at Shashin? Sure. So when I arrived at Shawshin, um, we did not have any co-teaching for our students. Also, we did not have an ELL program at all. Mm -hmm. So one of the, the reasons I am in education is because I believe in equity and opportunity for all students. When I arrived there, like I said, there wasn't those opportunities. Mm -hmm. So to create change, you have to get buy-in. So I created professional learning communities with both the vocational and the academic staff so that we could explain the situation we were in and sort of come up with solutions together. And in coming up with those solutions, we were able to initiate co-teaching and we created an entire ELL program from scratch. And now it's become the model for the state of Massachusetts. Wow, that's very interesting. Thank so you. new stuff. So how do you plan to continue to foster a culture of excellence and industry? I think it's always being open-minded and understanding that in education, the only constant is change right now. Um, and being a leader, it's really important to me to build up other leaders. So your change is only as good as the amount of time you spend sustaining it. So I think it's really just working on the programs that we've already established and making sure that we are, we have put systems in to determine if they're ethic, if they're working, and if not, we gotta pivot. Mm -hmm. And the last question I have for you today is what leadership quality and strategies have been fundamental for your success in education? I would say uh, the three characteristics that um, have been most beneficial to me are curiosity, competence, and compassion. I believe that you can navigate any difficult situation if you come from it from a lens of curiosity. Oftentimes when there's conflict, people just feel like they need to be heard. So relying on that has definitely helped me navigate that landscape. Also, you have to have compassion to be in education and to be an educational leader. And then competence. I have received my special education license, my license to be a superintendent, and I've spent many years in the classroom and as a leadership. So I think just always anchoring in those things has really benefited my success. That sounds very great. Well, do you have anything else that you want to share with us today? Um, I think that I'm just very honored to be here and I'm excited to network with other individuals and I'm excited to see what people suggest for the future of education. No, it's an honor to have you here and a pleasure. Nice meeting you and nice have a great day. Thank you. Bye.